what's up guys welcome back to Atlas I have got another kind of tutorial guide for you on how to decorate things specifically custom sails and paintings and uh, signs and things like that so like this billboard over here for example uh, I'm going to show you how you can make things like this and the custom sails. Uh, my ship's not here right now, so I can't show you one right now. But I hope they've put one on screen somewhere of what I'm talking about. I've been asked a few times how I do this and um, if I could make a video on it. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So first thing is you need a paintbrush and some paint. Um, doesn't matter what paint it is, but just get a paintbrush, stick some paint on it. Preferably like a neutral colour, like black or something like that. Go to the sail you want to paint. So I'm going to use this large speed cell as an example go up to it um, left click to bring up this menu and you're not going to touch any of these these are what change the colors of the mast and the actual sail cloths for um, custom sails you want to leave them white or how they are standard or you want to paint them with the white paint just to make sure they're a nice white background when you import the images but you can just leave them blank and it'll work fine then what we're going to do is make sure you've got a paintbrush and some paint like this. You can just scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can control left click to turn the uh, image around. And all we're going to do is make um, an outline of the sails. Um, I'm using the speed sail one because it's uh, one of the only ones here, although I've got an empty large handling. But the template for this is very strange, and you'll see what I mean when we get to that part. But first things first, we're going to do an outline, like I said. So I like to hold shift and paint so I get a nice thick edge. Let's just try and move this in a little bit. And just go around the edge. It doesn't have to be that tidy. Just make sure you get right on the edge there. Um, and if you wanted to, you could just paint this entire thing. But just so I can show you very clearly in the programs once we come out again, I'm just going to do the outside. But like I said, you could just paint this entire thing black. And there are actually some... Um, oh, I'll just erase that. Control right click. Oh no, shift. There we go, shift for the thick one. Um, there are actually some uh, templates on the Discord server. So if you join my Discord, Moshman's Tavern, it links in the description below. And in the Atlas section, on the tabs on the side, you will find Atlas Tools. And in Atlas Tools, there are some ready made templates or templates I've used already or you know, that I've saved. And you can just download them and use them. But if you start from scratch, this is what you do. So there we go. It's not tidy, um, but that's going to be that's going to be fine. So we've got the outline. All we're going to do is click save. Call that what you want. Set. And that's that one done. Next, what we're going to do is just so I don't have to jump in and out of the game. Next, what we're going to do is find a painting canvas. Like this one I put up here ready with a little uh, ledge for me to stand on. Um, and this is the large canvas. It gives you the option to cycle through them. And you'll need to do a template for each one, I believe. So this is the large canvas. And all we're going to do is swipe that and do the same again. Just going to go around the outside. Again, it don't have to be neat. Some of these are buggy. Like you can see that's not actually painting. But we will sort that out. Let's get the majority of it done. Try and move it a little bit. There we go. Get the edges. And again, that looks terrible. It's not perfect. But we've got the outline. So we're going to save that. Large canvas LC. There we go. But you can see what you do. You go up to whatever it is that you want to put a painting on. I believe you can do this with um, canvases, sails, billboards, signs. So you can do it on these little signs. And I've actually got a template for them as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. But anything that you can paint like that, you can make a uh, canvas. And obviously the other one you can do 
is yourself. I'm not going to do it because it crashes the game. <laughs> but if you paint yourself, just colour yourself in, save it, and then import that like we're going to do. And you can do exactly what we're going to do with the sails and the canvas to your body as a tattoo or paint. You can do it to your animals as well. So you've done your outlines, you've saved it, you've got your templates. Time to build the image. So the first thing you need is atlas paint converter or arc paint converter there is a link in the discord again to where you download this um, again go to the moshman's tavern discord links in the description i'll also put a direct link to this in the description as well so that you can just jump straight to it but this is the program you'll end up with now you need to make sure you get the atlas one not the arc one because this one has all the atlas colors as you can see down the bottom but you don't need to worry about that right now what we're going to do is open an image and um, you might have to locate your uh, my paintings, which is in Atlas Shooter Game Saved My Paintings. Um, again, I'll put this file string in the description below as well. Obviously, this is mine on my computer, but once you find your um, Steam games and your Atlas Shooter Game folder, you'll be able to find this. So, yeah, go to Shooter Game Saved My Paintings, and you will find all of your. Uh, files for your paintings so let's find the large speed sail we did uh, vid template large LSS you can see there the reason you do the template obviously is to show you where you need to paint and where the image is going to go but also I find it very handy because it gives you the file extension we, you need to get this file extension right when we upload the image into the game to make sure it goes where you want it to go but we'll get to that later so there you can see vid template lss underscore sale triple underscore c underscore 15 dot pnt so we want to convert this file so we're going to open this and you can see there the outline of the large speed cell and this is what i'm saying it's very strange how the large speed cell is put together it's on a square image and broken into three parts and the game can uh, place these where it needs to go this is why you really need the template especially for these with the large handling sails, you can sort of keep adjusting things if you want to do it painstakingly to make it work. But obviously, template is always better. So here we go. We've got the weird little image. So now we're going to save this image. And just save it to somewhere on your computer where you want to find it. I'm just going to put it in my Atlas folder in my pictures. Oh yeah, Atlas paint templates. We're just going to save it in here. And before you do that, just make sure you change it to PNG. So now let's change the PNT to a PNG image, save the image, and you don't need this for a second. Now the next program I use is GIMP. Now I'll put a link to where I downloaded this if you want a decent um, image editor for free. But if you've got Photoshop, or you can even do this in Paint, although it's a little bit harder in Paint. Uh, but download it. This is completely free. It's a great program. I've been using this to make all my thumbnails and stuff for my videos. And I use it for all this kind of things within games. So what we're going to do now on GIMP, again, link in the description below if you want to get this uh, this software. And all we're going to do is open up your um, file where you saved your image and just drag and drop it into GIMP or whichever um, imaging software you're using. And there you go. You can see there it's bored in and it's 256 by 256 pixels. And we've got the uh, template that we need. Now what we do, let's just zoom in a little bit. That'll do that. And all I do is select these boxes. I just make it slightly bigger than what the template's showing. Just so you definitely cover the edge. Again, if you're using a different software, then I'm just... Uh, using this is like a free selection tool so you just do the same thing you don't have to do this you can just paint in the color i'll explain in a moment so we go i've got them boxes selected i'm going to press enter that's them selected i'm then going to uh, what color are we going to go for on these sales um i'll just make the bronze beard logos we'll just do that so we'll just go black black's always a good color for sales i think and we're gonna select a bucket and we're just gonna fill them in there we go and select that now we go we've got perfect squares and you can do any color you want um and i'll show you do you know what do you know what let me um let me undo that let's change the color let's go this is like a cerulean blue color because i want to show you something so i'll make these blue 
there's a little bit of black around the edge there but that should be out of the the frame um so i've done this because i want to show you how the actual atlas paint converter works if i just go black it'll be too simple so we've got this is going to become a cerulean blue in game okay so we've got the sails painted that's the background color we want again the sails in game are going to stay white the blue color is going to come from the image so let's get um the images we want to put in so that's brought in the bronze beard logo image and uh, i'm just going to adjust this that should be small enough still might be quite large actually there we go let's just move this around roughly where we want it there we go we'll have that at the top um and scale this layer we'll have the atlas symbol let's try a bit bigger uh, and you can add writing and stuff let's add some writing why not there we go something like that a bit of advertisement <laughs> Uh, it's a bit small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Make a little shadow. There we go. Something nice and simple like that. Anyway, just just for the uh, tutorial, we've got a little bit going on there. We've got two images and some writing. And uh, yeah, that's the image done. So now we're just going to save this. Or in this case, for GIMP, you export it. And export that back to the um, Atlas Paint templates that I made in my picture gallery. But we're going to change the name here so we're going to delete the vid templates lss or we'll leave the lss part so we know it's a large speed cell and we're just going to change that to bb ink add so that way it won't get rid of that template i'll have that template for the next time we want to do a custom large speed cell and uh, we'll export the new one now what we're going to do is open back up the art converter or atlas converter sorry and we're going to open the image we just made which you can see that is a png right so here we go we've got the image in the converter now and all you're going to do is go through these colors turning things on and off um, and if you turn them off and nothing changes you can leave them off and you're just trying to reduce the amount of paints that's going to be required in game while keeping the image to its best quality and depending on the quality of the image to begin with and how much you scale it down and how the image changes when you scale it down is obviously going to affect the quality of the image on the sales or whatever you put them on in game most things are okay but norm you know sometimes you do get images that just don't go how you want them now you can see when i turn cerulean off that completely changes the background color so we definitely know we're going to get that cerulean blue that I'm after on the sails. So you won't need to paint the cerulean colour on sails because the image is going to put it on there for you. And there we go. I think that's about as close as we're going to get. So that's the image on the left, how it looks originally. This is what it's going to look like in game. Uh, again, you can see there the details a bit lower, obviously, but... It is what it is and you can just keep playing around with it and you can see there I've got rid of a lot of the paint so we're only going to require so many of them and uh, I think that's the best I'm going to get this particular image. Uh, again it depends on like what image you're using, the quality of it, how much you scale it up and down and all that kind of stuff as to how it's going to come out and obviously as well the other factor being what colours are within the image. Um, but most things come out okay in the game even if they don't look that great here they normally look better in game anyway so um, keep that in mind so the next thing we're going to do is obviously save this now into the game so you're just going to click save I use this so often that it's in my quick access but go back to your um, paintings folder in your atlas game folder and then all we're going to do here is you can already see there the BB ink add lss sale template we're going to change this to pnt which it's already on actually and we're just gonna save there we go that's that one done All right so next thing we're going to find that canvas uh vid template large canvas we're going to open this one now you can see we've got the canvas so now we're going to save this we're going to convert it to a png we're going to put this into our folder we made and then we're going to drag and drop that in and again this is going to be 256 but you need this image that it imports so again we're going to select the outline and do exactly what we've done in the last one like that 
Uh, this image has actually got a glow on it. I don't think it's going to work. We'll try. We'll see how it comes out. That will do. We'll just go for that and see if we can get this to work. So we're going to export this again. Again, we're going to keep that last bit of the extension. And we're just going to change the front bit. Export. Back to the converter. There it is. Open. That's come out right straight away actually. The glows, so this is why I wanted to bring the glow, because glows are really weird in, you can't get them to like go smoothly off, if you know what I mean. Like you can see that looks quite smooth as it dissipates. And there's got like a hard line around the edge. It looks pretty cool, we'll go with it. Let's see if we can get it improved a little bit. So we'll just turn all them on and we'll go back through them again. Because that way you know you're going to get, like with all them on, that's the best you can get the image basically. Um, and now as you turn things off, it might slightly improve, you might like smooth off the edges, etc. And again, you reduce the amount of paints required. And there we go, that's about as best I can get it. It don't look that good, but maybe it'll look better in game. We'll see how it comes out, but you get the picture. This is how you edit the image to get it into the game. So we'll just save that. Going back to my paintings. Convert it to a PNT and save so there's the two images we've been working on and um, yeah we'll jump back in game all right since we're here and it's night time we're better off doing this now while it's dark and we've got the lights in here we'll do the canvas first so first things first again swipe the canvas we're going to erase the painting to get rid of that border again we don't want any paint on there we just want it completely blank then we're going to load paint in now you can see it's brought it up and there's the required resources so the easiest thing to do here so you don't have to keep coming back and check in is just write these down or take a screenshot or something i like to just take a picture on my phone to be honest of the needed resources and then close all that jump back down and uh, start making the required dies and if you don't know, to make dyes, you need um, a grill or a cooking pot, you need water, and you need some sort of berries. Now, this is why I use an irrigated grill. Uh, I've had people say to me before that you can make this quicker by having loads of pots of water stored above, etc., and chucking them in. But when you're making lots of paint and you can see all the paint, and I do look with everything, everything in this place is painted, I go through a lot of paint. And the grill is just the easiest, most efficient way to, um, an irrigated grill, sorry, is the most efficient way to do this, in my opinion. So get your irrigated grill. So get your irrigated, irrigated? <laughs> get your irrigated grill set up. Um, Link in the description below to my video on how to set this up. Probably put a card at the top if I remember. I always say that and I forget, but hopefully I remember this time. Um, if you want to check that video out and a little tutorial on how to set these up so that it works every time. Um, so yeah, open up your grill, chuck your berries in and uh, start crafting again. Got my phone and I'm just going to go through the list. And I'll just go through the list of the paints that, that I require for this canvas and just get crafting them. And the search bar will be your friend when doing this. Okay, that should be all we need for the canvas. So then just go back up and uh, start painting it. And the other thing I'll mention here is this uses so much paint when you start doing custom sales and paintings, etc. Um, I have tried loading my entire action bar up with paintbrushes, so having 10 paintbrushes on there of all the different colours, uh, but it will still always only use the one paintbrush. Um, so it's a bit annoying, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So there you go, we've got everything we need now, so there's no missing resources. That's the image we want, so you just that's selected, just click the load painting again that's at the top. And it will start painting. It might take a while, so just leave it a minute or so. You can see here it has actually... Seems like it's frozen, but the game hasn't frozen. It just takes a long time for some reason to 
load the last parts all of a sudden in a second it will make lots of painting noises where it loads all the rest of it and you can see the image in the background there already painted so just bear with it and it will be fine and there we go that's done so you just close that jump down there and there's the image see that's come out much better than it looked like in the preview window of the atlas converter so yeah that's that let's go and get the sale done so again, make sure you delete the template if it's still on there. Click load paint. Select the image you want. And that's the one we want. You can see there all the required uh, paints that we need. Again, write them down or take a picture and then go make all the paints beforehand. And then let's load it on. So there you go, guys. There's how you make custom sales. That's the programs I use. GIMP and... Atlas um, importer, <laughs> uh, Atlas paint converter, that's the one, and I will put the link in the description below to both of them. Again, if you want the templates, I've already got a few templates, join the Discord server Moshman's Tavern, go to the Atlas section, and in there you'll find Atlas tools, and in the list of helpful things there, you will find templates for different things in-game that you can paint. Alright, let's head back into the base. And before I go, guys, one more thing. I will show you how the um, spray painter gun works and how to paint different things. Um, you know, just on how the different sections work and just a few tips on how I do it. So you get the spray painter. Well, if you've got a paintbrush, you have the spray painter. You get it from Handyman and you craft it in the smithy. It's crystal gem, carotenoid metal and organic paste to make them. Um, I normally have two of them, so I can have like a primary colour and a secondary colour, because I normally just use two colours. So this makes things easier. And then just put them on your action bar. Let's sort this out like that, and drag the colours in. Let's just go blue and gold, that's what I normally use. Now, all you do is, obviously when you paint a wall or something, um, yeah, let's Let's do the door. Is this one in the sunlight? Would it show up better? Yeah, okay. So you bring up this menu. And obviously you can see which you're painting here. And then all I do is with a paintbrush, I select the colour. So I've changed this to blue. We've got blue and gold. And you just go through and you see which colours are which. So you can see they've already done the gold. I normally do like gold as the... like outlines of things or like the metal work and stuff like that um, so select what you want so we're gonna paint the black stuff blues so we're gonna have uh, region 1 region 2 and region 4 which means uh, 3 5 and 6 are gonna be gold which obviously still are so let's go 1 2 and 4 so get your spray gun out and you can see on the left there, it's got color regions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then enabled for one, and all the others are disabled. Um, and then you just right click to point the gun in front of you, the spray gun in front of you, and then you just select the colors you require to be enabled. And I forgot the regions, let me just check that again. Uh, 1, 2, and 4. So get your gun out, put it in front of you. 1 is enabled, 2, enable 2, and enable 4. One, two, and four, and that has spray painted all the things that were black now to blue, and it's that simple. That is all you do. Uh, but yeah, that's how it works, and it's the same on the walls and stuff like that. The walls only have two, I think, so they've got one and two. So that's why I normally have two guns, so you can see one was enabled for blue, and two would have been disabled. Then you would have swapped for the gold, and that would paint the uh, that sort of decorate decorative bit gold but it's, it's that simple like I said the best thing to do is to have two of them out go around do all your primary colors so you would just run around paint everything blue which would leave these gold bits is white and then swap to your gold gun disable one enable two and then you would paint all these other bits which would then turn gold it is that simple guys I was gonna do it in a separate video but I think that kind of explains it really um, if you do want a more detailed um, like painting and decorating type deal, oh, I've got a ladder left there, let's delete that. <laughs> uh, 
then uh, no don't climb up it then uh, let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that you would like me to do a tutorial on or to talk about in a video or anything like that then just again leave a comment down below and let me know and I will see what I can do but I hope that, that helps you guys I've been asked so many times about the custom sales and um, like importing images into Atlas and the exact same thing works on Arc so if you're playing Arc you can do exactly what I showed you in this video and apply it to Arc just using different file types and it will work exactly the same way um, but you would just need the Arc paint converter that would be the only difference you'd need the Arc converter to the Atlas one but yeah hope that helped guys let me know what you think down below again if there's anything else you want to know let me know and I'll see what I can do and before you go guys join the discord channel Moshman's Tavern link in the description below like I said all the templates are in the Atlas tools section in the discord channel if you want to download them as well as links to the software that I mentioned earlier I don't know if Gimp's in there but I'll add it and uh, the Atlas paint convert is in there the link to that again I'll put that in the description anyway but if you ever need it again that's where it will be and also when you've got some custom sales made drop a screenshot in the discord add it to the atlas screenshots tag me in it at moshman obviously in the discord and i will check it out and uh take a look at what you guys get up to with the uh, custom sales and you know the paintings you can import anything onto these canvases they're really cool hope that was helpful guys and um yeah i'll see you in the next one